Colorado Springs contractor at the center of a remodel rampage will now spend more than two weeks in jail. Today, for the first time, Terry Gregory, the former co-owner of Dream Home Remodels, appeared to show remorse in an El Paso County courtroom. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty was in the courtroom and joins us live outside the El Paso County Courthouse with more on the judge's decision. Dan. Yeah, in court today, Terry Gregory said he was under a lot of stress because of the COVID-19 pandemic and his business was suffering as well. And you're seeing that stress play out in that cell phone video, or at least that's what he said. But the judge made a couple comments before her ruling today. She said not only did Gregory, not only did Gregory take a sledgehammer to the homeowner's bathroom, but that, she, that Gregory also took a sledgehammer to the home, homeowner's sense of security. Terry, Dan with Caradio, do you mind answering a couple questions? After pleading guilty to criminal mischief and being sentenced to 15 days in the El Paso County Jail on Thursday, former contractor Terry Gregory wasn't talkative. But back in September of last year, Gregory was letting a sledgehammer do the talking after a customer expressed concerns over the work quality and paying an additional $4,000, Gregory and his second co-owner of Dream Home Remodels, girlfriend Jordan Ciceras, walked into the customer's home armed with a sledgehammer and started breaking the tiles in the shower. Why do you felt it was necessary to destroy Miss Truckee's bathroom? Gregory did not answer our questions, but prior to sentencing, Gregory spoke to the court stating he is embarrassed as to how he acted in the video. I hope that's true. Amber Truckee is the owner of the bathroom and gave a statement during Thursday's hearing as well, stating she's afraid that any day Gregory could return to her home and attempt to finish what he started. I think that the sentence that the judge gave him certainly is impactful. It's, it's not just a slap on the wrist. Look at a property crime and think it's a property crime, but really um, my sense of security was completely shattered after they did what they did. The co-owner, Jordan Ciceras, also pleaded guilty to criminal mischief. She will not be going to jail. However, Gregory will begin his 15 days in the El Paso County Jail starting on October 19th. Reporting live outside the El Paso County courtroom, courthouse, excuse me, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates. All right, Dan.